my exhortation to you, brethren, is do not, one of the things I was thinking about was do not underestimate rejection. You may think that you're strong, or, how, or don't overestimate how strong you are. God has used leaders, g godly men, in the past to show us what we're capable of. Job is a good example. We didn't know what he was capable of until the Lord allowed Satan to have his way with him. Then we saw what was in him. And I, and I know Brother Jason, he, he said over and over again, now, now don't get me wrong here, I'm not coming against Peter. Because God used Peter to show us, show us some different things. One of the things, uh, he rejected Christ three times. Jesus said he was going to. He was going to allow Satan to sift him. And, and he did. But what really stood out to me was how he bounced back from that. Look, look the most important, one of the most important things, and so this is something Brother Gibbons said to, it, to us one time. He said, look, it's not over yet. See, how's it, we're, not, and we're not over. You, you, you've made mistakes. It's not over yet. Now, Satan will say, it's over, you know, you're done. You're rejected. You're no good. The God didn't say that. We're not, it's not over yet. When you, you continue in the faith, today God has given you a, a new day. If you wake up tomorrow, you're going to have a new day to be able to, to give yourself to the word of God, to be able to be with God's people, find ways to strengthen your faith. Because you're never as strong enough. You think you may be strong enough. Peter, he, God used him. He is a great leader in the faith. And God used him. And it, here we have a situation where re, I, I see it as rejection played a big part in this. Men reject it has gone on at, th at this time was going on. And today, whole countries will use rejection against other countries to get them to do what they want them to do. So it is vitally important for us, for, number one, to know what this word says. That means we, we read it and we find ways to get it in us. Number two is to surround ourselves with people that understand what this word says. And I know you, brother, are here today because you do. That's exactly what you want to do. To surround ourselves and not get to the point where you, you're at a point where you don't want to hear what somebody else has to say. Because God uses the whole body to give us. Sometimes he'll use somebody else to, to help us see something more perfectly. Now, what the flesh does, will say, hey, how dare you? Do you not know who I am? I have been given a p position of authority. Now, Peter, it does not say anything about Peter doing that. I don't see anywhere, and Jason, he, Brother Jason, he brought this up. Nowhere does it say, we don't know. You know why we don't know? Because it doesn't say anything about him saying, how dare you talk to me like that in front of all these people? Yeah. Dude, Paul, come on. I'm with you. Now you're, now you're making me look bad in front of everybody. This, this was the rock. He didn't, no. Not a leader doesn't do that. And he didn't do that. He stood strong. And as Brother Jason said over and over again, I have no doubt that he, he accepted it and he, he just moved on because he knew that this was from God. Remember we talked about David? David's the same way. He'd rather God be glorified than he, his own self look bad. He didn't have to stand up for himself. God stands up for him. God stands up for him. Today, people still talk bad about Peter and some of the uh, godly people that God never talks bad about. But men talk about How dare them talk bad about them? That's the flesh. So my exhort, I exhort you, brethren, to be more worried about what God thinks than what men think. Mm -hmm. Suffering comes in different forms. Suffering may become in other countries through beatings and, and being rejected. Here we are, re you know, I, I, I work with people who I know they reject what I have to say. I just this week I had a guy with me. I, um, at one point he, tired, he told me he's tired of hearing me talk. <laughs> that was a form of rejection, but I, that's a, you know, I don't have a problem with that. I didn't talk for like five minutes and then I continued on. <laughs> so, but it was a form of rejection. 
See? The rejection is strong. And I, th I think that's why, that's why it's vitally important to surround ourselves with people who can see the truth and can he help you stand strong. At the end of the day, it's what God thinks that matters. What you give yourself to and who you surround yourself affects what you do. In this situation, the way I see it, Peter, who is a strong, godly man, was surrounded by people who didn't see things rightly. And I don't know, I don't know if this is it, but rejection, I believe, played a strong part of what happened here. If Peter, who walked on water, had a time of weakness, what would we do in that situation? Well, I know what flesh would say, well, pfft, I wouldn't do that. No way. But see, flesh always thinks too highly of itself. If I was there, I would never do that. Things to learn here is that we are not as strong as we think we are. But God is. Correction does not mean division. Peter is a great leader of our faith. His ability to lead and bounce back from correction shows that he is a great leader of God because he cared more about what God thought than what men thought. Yes. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end here and I'm going to open up to you, brethren. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Matthew 18.4 God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. James 4.6 so we, if we can see this rightly and humble ourselves to the point where we are surrounded by brethren who love the truth, when correction comes, we'll be able to be like Peter. We can just bounce right back. Continue to, to move with the Lord, stay strong and united as Peter did. There was no two, like Brother Jason said, there was no division. There was no two different churches. All I see here was there was a correction made and a man of God humbly continued on. And we could do that too. So I'm going to open up to you, brother, to what your thoughts are in this situation.